You've probably heard it a million times. Sugar feeds cancer. It sounds terrifying, right? Like every cookie you eat is directly fueling a ticking time bomb inside you. But is that what the science actually says? Let's break down this huge myth in the next three minutes. First up, what even is sugar? When we eat sugar, it breaks down into glucose and fructose. Now glucose is super important. It's the main fuel for every single cell in your body, your brain, your muscles, your heart, and yes, cancer cells too. It's like the electricity that powers an entire city. This brings us to the sugar feeds cancer myth. This idea comes from something called the Warburg effect. Scientists notice that cancer cells are real glucose guzzlers. They consume it much faster than healthy cells. So the logic seems simple. If cancer loves sugar, just cut out all sugar and you'll starve it, right? Well, not exactly. Here's the twist. Your body is incredibly smart. It works hard to keep your blood glucose levels stable, no matter what you eat. If you cut out all carbs and sugar, your body will just make its own glucose from fat and protein to keep everything running. You can't selectively starve cancer cells without starving all your healthy, vital cells, too. It's like trying to shut down one wasteful factory by cutting power to the entire city. It just doesn't work that way. So does this mean you can eat all the sugar you want? Hold on. While sugar doesn't directly cause or feed cancer, there's a very important indirect link that science has proven. Consistently eating a lot of high sugar foods, think sodas, candy, pastries, and ultra-processed snacks, can lead to weight gain and obesity. This in turn can cause chronic inflammation and insulin resistance. And that combination creates an environment in your body where cancer is more likely to develop and grow. It's not the sugar molecule itself, but the long-term metabolic chaos it creates when you have too much of it. Think about the difference between natural and added sugars. The sugar in an apple comes packaged with fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants. The fiber slows down sugar absorption and keeps you full, but the added sugar in a can of soda, it's just empty calories that spike your blood sugar and contribute to that dangerous cycle of obesity and inflammation. So what's the bottom line? The World Health Organization recommends keeping your free sugars, that's the added stuff, to less than 10% of your daily calories. For most adults, that's about 50 grams or 12 teaspoons a day. The real takeaway isn't that you need to fear every gram of sugar. It's that a balanced lifestyle is key. Enjoying an occasional treat is perfectly fine. The real enemy is the excess, the constant high intake of added sugars that drives up your long-term cancer risk indirectly. So focus on a diet rich in whole foods, fruits, and veggies, and don't let the fear-mongering stress you out. It's about balance, not panic.